23 identities live in Kevin's body. James McAvoy has never been nominated for an Oscar. How? I do not know. Were you hiding from me? No. Uh, well, I just, I, I, no, no, I, I, I just, I, I, I was just, um, I didn't want to scare you. The first movie I think personally that he should have been nominated for was The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, where he played a supporting character called Mr. Tomnus. He brought that character back to life straight from the books, and it's really hard to do that, to create a character and play it flawlessly. What's going on? The president wants to see you now. You are British. I'm Scottish. Scottish? Why didn't you say so? The next one was in 2006, The Last King of Scotland. Now, he was actually really the lead actor in this movie, but Forrest Whitaker got nominated for lead actor and actually won. It's kind of weird when this happens. Like, in Silence of the Lambs, Anthony Hopkins won for best lead actor, even though he was only in it for about 15 minutes. Dear Cecilia, you'd be forgiven for thinking me mad. The truth is, I feel rather lightheaded and foolish in your presence, and... I don't think I can blame the heat. The next one is Atonement in 2007. I haven't actually seen this movie, but I included it in the list because it's the only one he got nominated for a Golden Globe for. So I'm sure his role was great, and I don't get why he wasn't nominated for an Oscar. What do you know about me? Everything. The next one in 2011 was X-Men First Class. He played Professor Xavier, and him and Michael Fassbender played Magneto and Xavier flawlessly. They brought back the X-Men franchise back to life. But since they're superhero movies, eh, the Academy kind of looks at it like, we'll push you to the side, your popcorn movies, your popcorn fluff. I've never seen a case like this before. 23 identities live in Kevin's body. Then there was 2016's Split. There's no denying that he should have been nominated for this role. Everyone was like, wow, I don't know why he wasn't nominated. He played tons and tons of different characters and did it so good that he brought M. Night Shyamalan's career back to life. I just think he should have been nominated at least once by now. Comment below what movie you think he should have been nominated for. Who are you? 